Adding an SD card to your Arduino instantly gives you access to mass storage. If you've got an LCD screen, you can now display bitmap images with ease using some ready-made image libraries. Let me show you how. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. If you've been following the channel, you may have noticed some of the videos I've been doing on this LCD touchscreen with the built-in SD card reader. Now, once we add an SD card to the screen, this means that we can use our PC to create images and store them on an SD card and then use those in our sketches to put images onto the LCD. Or maybe as a, as a background to some sort of control panel or just some sort of splash screens and logos and things like that. But it does become a very powerful feature. But obviously we need some way of reading those images from the card, translating them into pixels and then sending them out to our LCD screen. And the easiest way to do that, of course, is using some ready-made libraries. And that's what we're going to be covering in this video. We'll look at some of the Adafruit libraries that let us do that very quickly and very easily. So let's get straight into the code and see how it's done. To get this working, you need to have your LCD and SD card connected to your Arduino. I covered this in detail in a couple of previous videos, so I'll put the links to those in the top right corner and also in the description below. I'll also put in a link to the project page on my main website where you can get hold of the full circuit diagrams so you can connect all this up. Now that we've got the circuitry connected, we will need a little bit of extra software to help us handle these bitmap image files. We've already been using the Adafruit graphics library to handle our, our generic um, graphics functions, but that does not include a bitmap handling software. So we will need to add a couple more libraries in. And there's a nice tutorial on the Adafruit library. I'll put this link in the description down below. And that talks you through how to set up one of their cards. And, and really all we need to do is we need to install two libraries. So the first is this Adafruit image reader library, and that's the one that actually includes the software that understands bitmap files and then how to send those out to the LCD screen. We will also need the Adafruit fork of the SDFAT library, and that in, in effect is their version of the SD file system library. Uh, the um, image reader class does require their version. It won't work with the normal built-in SD library. So you do need to install that as well. I, I find that both of these were actually available through the normal library manager, um, but they do have a little note here saying that you may need to get this SDFAT library by downloading it directly and then just copying those files into your our Arduino library area. The tutorial does talk about downloading a third library, this SPI Flash one. Now I'm using an SPI based SD card and that's built of course into my LCD panel. Now a lot of the Adafruit boards uh, or their LCD screens and so on do have some built in SPI Flash chips uh, rather than one of these um, uh, SD cards. So if, if you are going to use those, then you'll need to download that library. But with the one that I'm doing, I, I know that I'm going to be using an SPI SD card, so I do not need to load that library in. And that saves just a little bit of space in, in, our, in our program memory. So make sure that you then download and install these two library files, and then we'll jump in and see how we put that into our sketch. So to get this working, back into our sketch, uh, we have our normal include files at the top of our sketch. So we're including our standard SPI handler stuff, our core graphics library, and then my particular screens library. We then need these two new ones, so the sdfat.h include file. And again, that replaces the sd.h include file, which of course is the standard built-in um, Arduino one. So we need to make sure that we take out the old version and put in this new version. And then, of course, we're including our image reader class 
um, in there, and then the normal touchscreen idea. After that, um, all, all the various definitions are as we've always been using in the previous videos. And again, make sure you check the uh, links in the description down below. We then need to come down here. We need to then um, initialize these new objects. So we need to create an instance of our SDFAT class. And we're calling that SD here. Uh, and again, that just simply replaces the previous SD that would have been automatically created for us from the standard SD card handling uh, library. And then we're using that, uh, we're passing a reference to that into our um, reader object. So we're creating or instantiating a, an object based on this Adafruit image reader class. So that object is going to be called uh, reader. And again, we're passing in this reference. Uh, and that's the point where if you try and pass in the standard SD library, um, you will get a compile error. It, it, it does need this Adafruit version. So scrolling down the rest of that, uh, again, all of this code is as we've been using as our normal setup procedure for all of our, our previous videos. And at this point down here, we've got everything set up. So our um, LCD screen, our touch screen. And again, we've just now initialized our, our SD card and, and set that up with its um, chip select signal. Again, the, the, the actual operation of this new SDFAT class is, is very much the same as our standard SD card reader. And then this is all we need to make images happen. So our, our the, the method we're actually going to be calling is this. So on our reader object, which remember is a, a, a part of that Adafruit image reader class, we call this draw bitmap method it needs to be passed in a file name. So this needs to be a 24-bit bitmap file stored on your SD card. So we need to give it the file name. We then need to give it a reference to the object that um, is for our screen. So remember a little bit further up here, um, we create at uh, this point here, so this line here, we create an instance of our screen handler class, and we've called that TFT. So that object needs to be passed in as a reference in our method call to the draw bitmap function. And again, that just simply means that it then is able to, it knows where to send the pixels and so on. And the last two numbers then is the on-screen coordinates. So remember the top left corner is zero, zero on our on-screen coordinates. That is the coordinates where you want the top left corner of the image showing. So I'm putting it right in the top left corner because I have sized this particular bitmap file to be exactly the right dimensions to fill my LCD screen. And, and that is all we need to do. So let's start that uploading. And there we have our image displaying on the screen. And again, we, we can start playing about with this. So this library lets us place the image in, in certain positions. So I could offset that. So if I change those, um, so that that's the top left corner of the image, it will then clip that correctly for the screen. So if I upload that, and there we see the image displaying at that X and Y offset. And I do have a smaller image, which is not full screen. And we can do exactly the same thing here. So it will understand that that image then, if I upload that. So that image doesn't fill the screen and we can now really do whatever we want with our images. So that's handling images using some ready-made libraries. And as you've seen, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Once we've imported the software, we simply have a couple of method calls and we can then have images appearing on our LCD screen. Now, the other option is to actually write your own code to translate the files from the SD card into pixels on the screen. That is a, obviously a slightly more complex process, 
but it's actually quite a useful one to do. Um, we, we, we can get very reliant on these libraries and, and simply loading in lots of software. And as we've seen with that, even that Adafruit library, um, it does cope with a whole range of different cards and, and formats. So you do end up with um, a slightly bloated block of code coming in. And on, on very small Arduino, such as the Uno and Nano, uh, any, any wasted, program memory is of course going to cut down the amount of space available for your actual application. So I'm going to produce a second video where we will do away with the image reader library and work out how to read and decode our own bitmap files from the SD card and then get those displaying. Uh, and that will be a, a, a good bit of fun and, and a, I, I suspect a very useful um, process to go through to show you much more detail how the SD, filing, SD card filing system works, how we can use that, how we're working at a very low level and how we can really program our Arduino to cope with any file system that we want to. So. Look, look out for that. Make sure you click on the notifications. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe and you'll make sure that you get hold of any videos as I produce them. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.